When you get on a boat ride off the northeast coast of mainland Singapore, it will take you to a small island known for its historical and cultural legacy, as well as for its rich biodiversity. The trip takes only about 15 minutes, but people say that when you get there, it'll feel like you're in a completely different country, or perhaps in a completely different era. This island is called Pulau Ubin, and it is home to one of Singapore's last remaining rural villages, or kampongs. You can choose to explore the island on foot, by a taxi, or through bicycle rental at a reasonable price. Today, Pulau Ubin has been a popular destination for recreational activities such as hiking, cycling, camping, or simply immersing yourself in the beauty of the outdoors. Pulau Bin's rustic charm has been well preserved for over many decades. It's like being here takes you back in time to Singapore in the 1960s, before it became this highly modernized metropolis that we know about today. Over the years, there had been plans to develop this island, such as building a train system that would connect it to the mainland, as well as setting up apartments here. But these plans were not carried out due to the cultural significance that this place holds, as well as due to environmental concerns. Another interesting thing about Pulau Ubin is that it is teeming with vegetation and wildlife, supporting a very rich ecosystem. Along the way, you may run into one of Singapore's recognized heritage trees. The tree is estimated to be over 100 feet tall and over 100 years old. Its sheer size provides a very large canopy for resting visitors to behold. With regard to the wildlife, you will almost certainly encounter long-tailed macaques roaming around freely on the island. They usually stay on the sidelines, waiting for you to show signs that you may be carrying some food. Always keep in mind that feeding them is prohibited, and it's best to keep your distance from them for your own as well as for the animal's safety. One piece of advice from people who have been here is that you should not store your items in plastic bags, as many of these primates assume plastic bags contain food. On the east side of Pulau Bin is a hidden gem called the Chak Jawa Wetlands. In here, a boardwalk will lead you into a beautiful mangrove forest, where a 20 meter high structure called the Jajawi Tower is located. The structure is named after the species of mangrove trees that grow here. At the top of the tower is an observation deck that gives the visitors a panoramic view of the island's lush vegetation and surrounding waters. In many places, mangroves are usually cleared out for a variety of reasons such as land development and logging, even though these trees play an important role in the environment. They are sturdy, and with complex root systems are well suited to thrive in the intertidal zones, making themselves a barrier against strong ocean currents. They also serve as a nursery for fish and other marine organisms. Outside the mangrove forest, the boardwalk leads to a stunning view of the coastal areas, where you will see birds and fish and be able to listen to the gentle sound of the waves. The Czech Jawa wetlands shows a perfect example of the immense beauty of the natural world, which we must protect and conserve for the future generations to enjoy. Ula Ubin was once a bustling hub for granite mining. On the west side of the island, you will see some of the abandoned granite quarries that Ula Ubin was known for in the past. One of them is the Pecan Quarry. It is now filled with water and lush vegetation that grew after the quarrying activity stopped, as if it has been given with a new purpose. Taking a hike up the Hapoaka Hill is also a must try for adventure seekers. About halfway to the top, there is an area that will show you a view of another abandoned granite quarry, the Ubin Quarry. Go up even farther until you reach the top and you will get an even more stunning view of the same beautiful quarry. But when you're in Singapore and you're interested in the country's cultural and natural heritage, 
or if you're looking for adventure in the wild, or a place for relaxation, you will find all these interests converge on Pulau Ubi. Thank you so much for watching, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel, click on the notification bell, and see you on the next video.